a comedian. He's a realist. He keeps it real. He's the only real vape reviewer. Presenting Jay Hayes. Thank you, Bruce. What is going on? How is everybody doing? Whippa! All right, all right. Oh, man. What is up? How's everybody doing? Yeah, yeah. You know, if there's not a day that goes by that wouldn't make my life complete, it wouldn't ensue drama before I even roll out of bed. You know, like while I get up, you know, I kind of like grab the phone and I shake it about. When we were younger, we just got out of bed and we were filled with energy, pumped up. Didn't even matter. Someone would scare you to just jump out of bed. Now I jump out of bed. I feel like I've dis dislocated my hip, bit my lip, and I feel like shit all in the matter of the first 20 seconds of waking up. So I kind of grab the phone and I just wake myself up very slowly. But usually when I do an upload or I'll make it public, I'm like, ah, oh, I, I, I regret it the night before because it's like as I'm doing it, I'm I'm high as fuck on Ambien, so I don't even know what I'm making public, right? I could I could essentially be making a live video where I'm touching my penis and flicking my asshole, and I'm not even paying attention, and I make that live. So, at, like right before I go to bed, I'm like, you know what? On Ambien, I'm real kicked back. I'm like, ah, oh, it's no no big deal. No one's gonna get upset. It's fine. It's whatever. But then halfway through my sleep, I start doubting myself because the Ambien starts to wear off, and I'm like. I know I'm going to wake up in a couple hours because I'm taking a piss. And I, and I'm, and I almost want to look at the phone, you know, like, like you're getting a text message from somebody where it's got like image, but it doesn't show the image in the preview where you want to click it, but you don't because you know what you're going to say in response. That's what I'm like when I wake up to piss, I'm like, okay, I'm just not going to look. I just, I I'll, I'll look up in a couple hours and then boom. So usually when I wake up, I look at the downvotes. Okay, so there's a hundred people that bought this product that absolutely love it, you know. Or oh, oh my God, there's there's 250 people that have this fucking product that love it and they absolutely hate me. That's why I have zero likes, 250 dislikes. Or we could do the flip side of it and say maybe those 200 people didn't buy it. Maybe they just don't like my opinion, so they're just disliking it. But then you get to reading the comments and you're like, oh, God, here we go. And if it's based off of a reviewer's product, don't really read the comments. Don't even bother. Don't. Just go to the top comment because that is where everything is going to happen. That's where the magic is. The meat and potatoes of the drama will ensue at that comment and down below. Of course, you do get certain reviewers that don't know how to react and their first response is, you're a, a piece of shit, right? Uh, and Madison here, what's up, Matt? Uh, so, and, and, and that's not necessarily this situation. There's been other people that won't even watch the full review. Won't even watch it. I guess they get three, four minutes in and they're like, yeah. This is fucking disgusting. You don't know how to fucking build. You're a piece of shit. Uh, you just don't like me. Before, it was a matter of, hey, um, by the way, you're jealous because they made a product and you didn't. Meanwhile, I got two drippers, 18 mods, 36 different RTAs, 16 different coils. I made them all, but people don't remember that because they only watch the videos that fit their criteria and their narrative. So... I look at Matt's comment. Now, first, on Matt's first comment, I don't find anything offensive what he says at all. Uh, and then I'm reading, and I'm, I'm not really seeing anything he's saying as offensive. But what happens is, is people start chiming in that I've never fucking seen before. So in my mind, I think that that's somebody that just created an account because their other one already got blocked. So they're going to kind of chime in on a, on a conversation that I guess in theory you could say should happen between the, the, the reviewer, me, and the reviewee, Matt, right? 
But people got to chime in. And that's totally fine. It's a public forum. I totally get it. It is what it is. Like, there was a guy that made a comment. He was like, 7.30 out. His name is 7.30. I have never fucking seen you on this channel. Don't say 7.30 out because you have no fucking subscribers. And no one gives a shit if you're in or you're out. So shut the fuck up. Comment deleted. Comment blocked. You're a piece of shit. Nobody knows you. Nobody loves you. Like, that's the end of that discussion. But what I want to highlight here, and I'm glad that Matt is here because... Can't turn off slow mode. Um, so uh, I, I don't want to get distracted, but slow mode shouldn't be a thing if you're already a member. Uh, I, 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 I don't think that that works that way. Anyway, um, so what we're going to do is we're going to read these comments. And that, Matt's here. That's good because that, that in, a, in a way, I'm going to address some things that Matt wants to say or Matt has said. I just really haven't got the time to write a response because I do it better when I do videos, you know. Sorry about that. That wasn't like someone throwing checkers at me. That was just a million fucking birds flying past the window. Okay, so let's just do it. Uh, I, I don't I don't know why, Laura, there is a slow mode, though. There shouldn't be. Yeah, the, slow mode should not be a thing if you're a member. Okay, so let's just do it. Here we go. Uh, now, keep them on. Keep them on. Before I... Hold on. Wait. Before I even do this. Before you say, right? Before you say that this is drama, you're incorrect. You have no idea what the fuck you're talking about. Did I label it drama? I might have labeled the drama just for clickbait. I think I did. I, I'm, I'm not 100% sure what I did, but I think I did something to get you. Yes, drama and Zeus again. Uh, I did that to get you here. You know, uh, that's the goal of a title is to get you to click it. But that's not saying that this is not going to be juicy enough for one to constitute this as drama. Here we go. Okay, so let's just do it, right? I don't, I don't want to read chat and get too distracted. So let me go over here. Um, actually, hold on. Before, before I get into this, I want to take a moment. Uh, I'm not trying to be funny. I want to give a moment of silence for Scott Zegans, individual who was a big part of the vape community. Uh, I'm not trying to throw him into the drama. This is just, you know, I, 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 I don't want to say in a lighter note, but huge person in the community passed away. Uh, anybody that was close to him, I give you my heart. Be strong, be positive. I know that that is a cliche, uh, really shitty situation. It's sad that he had to go so young. Uh, and a huge, huge shout out to Andrew or Heavy Metal Vapor, who is entirely too close to him. Shitty situation, man. Shitty situation. We've talked. You know, I feel Andrew, needless to say, huge shout out for that individual. I'm going to give him a moment of silence. Okay. All right. So now let's get into it. Here we go. Do, 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 do. So, uh, of course, you know, doing a review of a product that a vapor or a vape, well, vapor and vapor viewer, and we'll say influential person, Matt, who is also in chat, uh, or anybody, it doesn't matter. It could be Mr. Just like one. It doesn't matter who it is. It could be Mike Vapes. It could be, uh, anybody, right? They're, they're, they're going to leave a comment, typically speaking. Some don't know how to react better than others, uh, but they, they typically will. Now, let, let's just read this comment. So this is from Matt right now. Again, you can follow along with this. I'm pretty sure he hasn't edited again. So uh, if there is something that has changed in this, this was refreshed about seven minutes ago. Okay, so I don't know who the hell is messaging me on Discord. Like, for real? Um. Okay, so anyway, uh, Jay, on my last product you said, did he just put his name on it without asking me first? Let me stop right there, right there. I never, Matt, and you've met me, and I know you're in chat, Matt, uh, you've met me. I've never, ever, 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 ever been the person to contact an individual and say, uh, hey, is did you slap your name on this, right? I've, I've never been that person. Uh, matter of fact, I was actually the quite opposite of that. I would be the person that would say, okay, uh, I, I'm not a big fan of the word cash grab. Like I may make a joke about it or a uh, slate about it. I, anything that you make is a cash grab, whether that's a new iPhone, whether that's a new MacBook, a cash grab is a business. That's what it is. Whether or not people want to accept that, it's a different story. Uh, of course, you do have very deliberate cash grabs like, okay, we have zero innovation. 
Um, well, we'll cover that in a second. But as far as me contacting you to ask you if that's a name slap, that would never happen. It wouldn't. It, it would be no different of uh, with with uh, with uh, the, the heathen or who else? Um, Mike Vapes with the uh, with the Icon series or why am I drawing a blank? The I'm just gonna Tony B. I think I said that already. No, I didn't. Heathen, Tony B, Mike Vapes, all have made multiple products. Have, I would say Tony B more than any of them. Uh, have made multi yourself have made multiple products that put your name on it. Now, the way that I know, right? Now, we know this industry, right? Whether I'm going to expose secrets or not, I don't give a fuck. The industry is very simple. Case will say, hey, we got a product. We want to collab with you. Are you willing to take this? What is it? It's an RTA. Okay, it's just that Tony B actually picked that and fucking did it, right? Like, that's that's what that is. That there there is, there there's nothing in between there. There's... That story is the story. That's it. So, and then you'll have people that will design things that will say, okay, uh, let's make a mod. Let's make this. I'm not going to be the person that's going to reach out to somebody and say, did you slap your fucking name on it? I'm going to do what I do best. And that's open a product and give you my opinion. Un fucking biased it doesn't matter what you've done for me uh well no they're, they're, they're see i see i'll admit it i'll tell you straight up right now there were certain products that i wouldn't do that tvc made because of the connection that we had and i didn't want for what he did for me i didn't want to put myself in a position where i had given my unbiased opinion and kind of hurt his feelings, even though he may not have, but he did something for me that played close to my heart. So I let that haze out, if you will, my vision to do a review on that product. And I made that very clear, I made that very clear. So I, I would never ask you, Matt, if you put your name on something. Uh, but I, I, I do want to cover that though, because you cover that again a little bit later down, but I, I don't want to skip forward. Uh, now you're saying the same with this mod without asking me. In fact, you've shit on pretty much all my products, so no. Okay, all right, let me stop you again. Also, bullshit. I, that is, that's playing victim. That's what that is. You want me to go through all of your products that you've made, Matt, and you want to look at the fucking ratings? You really want to do this, Matt. You're going to look like a fucking clown because that comment is bullshit. That is, hey, I'm victim. Uh, he doesn't like anything I fucking make. Oh, you said, wait, let me let me recite that. Pretty much all my products. So, in my mind, if you say pretty much all of my products, if there's 10 fucking products, seven to eight of them would be pretty much all of them. Like one or two I didn't like. Really? You real, Bree, pull up every suck my mod product that I've ever done a review on and tell me the ratings, write them down. Thank you. We'll go over that shortly. Let's go back. See, that pisses me off. That is an insuffice comment whatsoever, right? Uh, so you're never, definitely not being biased. I don't know if that's a poke or what that is, but it doesn't matter. Every single suck my mod product. Uh, watch my video on this. Again, you know that I don't watch videos on what people present. And this is a great example because if I did watch a video, what I would have mentioned in this video, what I would have mentioned was that it took you a year and a half to fucking make it that I found out afterwards by other people. I don't watch videos of people's other shit. It's, it's not who I am. The fact that I have to explain this is, I don't, I don't know. I, Matt, you've met me. This would be different if you didn't meet me and you didn't know how I was. I am the same with you. Now, if we talk on a personal level, totally different. If you're going to release a fucking product, which is a business, that's my field. That I don't, I don't give a fuck if you're my son. I'm still going to tell you what you did wrong and how I feel about it. That's my way of dealing with what I do. I will not question my own integrity because it doesn't fit what you think should be said or should not be said. Your, your idea of it crea being created for a year, a year and a half, or even two years, which you do go over in these comments, 
blows my fucking mind. But I'm going to go over that when we get there. So so you know what? Now reading this comment later on, it it really, uh, it, it, I, I'm not pissed off. I just think it's funny that you think that I shit on all of your products. Do you mean that I tell you things that other people are thinking? Is that what you mean, Matt? Because that's what I'm doing. The same thing that I'm telling you on fucking camera, other motherfuckers don't have the balls to do it. I do. I People say in, in little little comments, in little messages between each other, oh my God, this thing's a piece of shit. It looks just like this, but they don't have the fucking balls to say it in your comments. I do. So... Maybe you need to get with the people that have prototype or, or tested your products. I'm using this because you said that in your comments. Unless, of course, I'm wrong and that's deleted now. The people that prototyped it. Hey, this looks like the fuck Ethereum. Mm, you're right. You're right. I should probably fix that. I should probably... <laughs> Please fix that. But you but you don't, right? Okay, let's just move forward. Bree, how's it going over there? Let's let's move forward. Okay. Uh so I showed prototypes of people over a year ago. Well, there goes that comment that I just covered. Uh, I wanted to make a C frame mod with a reinforced plastic material and vanity chip. Totally fine. Totally fine. I get it. I get it. You, you can't really do much. And in defense of Matt, see what I could do here is I could look at it from a center's view, looking at the left and the right. That's my right. That's my left. But for you, it's the opposite. It should be. If not, I didn't fuck up. Your eyes are fucked up. Go see the doctor. Uh, now, there there isn't much you can do for uh, 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 a C-frame, a C-frame style mod. There, there's really not. You, you put two batteries in it. You put the, you, you put the door on. And that's it. You know, that that's it. So, yeah. Okay, cool. Got it. Plastic, very lightweight. I'll give them that. It's right here, by the way. Sorry, on my end. So, anyway. You should have asked me all this, but it's more fun to start the pot. No. Say, nope. Again, another fucking comment that is stupid. I'm not stirring the pot, right? I didn't break the product. I gave you my honest opinion. You making this comment now is stirring the pot because I'm going to respond to it. I'm not going to let someone say something. And then now if it's just a random person, sure. But Matt, because of who you are and what your statute is, of course, I'm going to address it. Right. Are people going to watch it? Absolutely. Am I going to bring my answers to your question on the table? Absolutely. Do I think it's trauma? No, I don't. I think it's just me responding to what you're saying. But this is not me stirring the pot. I didn't break this. I didn't give it a shitty rating. It got a fucking four or five, right? Like, give me something that's different if you want a fucking 10. Don't make some shit that has been made. Real, dude, really did that. Now that's going to piss me off because this is no different than this, this, this. They're all the fucking same shape. They're all the same shape. They're all the same shape. It's just one's got a 21. The other one's got 18s. Yeah, really, dude? Fucking really? Okay, here we go. For you, Matt. Suck my mod. Serpent, 24 millimeter. 2017, you got a 6 to a 6.5. Your cog, which was a piece of shit, 2020 got a 3 to a 4. So that's a good argument you got there. Then comes the nudge at a 6 to a 6.5. So that's 1 out of 3 so far. Then your uh, passage got a 7.5. A 7.5. Five in 2019 and then your serpent single in 2018 got a six to a 6.5 so judging based off of this with what Bree just knows the one two three four five only one of them got below a point uh, got below a, a five one and now you have two so pretty much all of them maybe matt you need to do your own fucking research how about that how about that Instead of telling me I need to contact you, maybe you should go back and fucking read or watch or transcript videos and look at the fucking ratings. That's an option. How about take your own advice? Moving forward. Right. It, it, it doesn't... No, because you're putting your fucking name on it, Matt. You're putting your name on it. Right? Like, I'm making a dual battery 18650. My idea is, okay, that's close to the Minikin because of the shape, because you can't do anything about it. So you be innovative other fucking places. I'm not going to sit here and tell you what you could do to make this better. 
because you've done enough of reviews on fucking products to know what the fuck to do. I shouldn't have to tell you with someone that's been in the review game longer than me how to make a mod that's been done a hundred fucking times just with different fucking batteries and different materials. Just because you change the material does not make it innovative. All you're doing is taking a fucking car and putting vinyl wrap on it. That doesn't make it good. That just makes it fucking different. Just because it's different doesn't make it innovative. Do I really need to break this down for you? Like, <laughs> do I really have to break that down? Anyway, it's not the fucking point. The point is, is you just said pretty much all of your products I've shit on. According to numbers, that is an incorrect statement. That is in fucking correct. Incorrect. And Bree did that research in all of what? Six minutes? Six minutes. <sighs> all RDAs don't look the same. This RDA doesn't look like this RDA. They look like metal. But you could do things with a mod. We're, well, we're not talking. Well, I guess we are kind of talking about this. You, I'm not saying that there's a problem with the mod, right? Like if you watch the fucking video, which I'm sure Matt did. If you watch the video, you'll see that I don't break it. I give it a five. I don't know what the fuck to say that's good about it. Like what? Give me one fucking thing. Give, okay. okay. Give me one good thing about this. That's good. That sets this apart from everything else. What are you going to say? The weight? Okay. I'll give you a point for that. We're at one point so far. Impress me. Let's start from zero and work our way up. So we, we get a point because it's lightweight. Let's give it another point because it's a mod. We'll give it a point for that because it works. We'll give it another point because it's C-frame. So we're at three fucking points. Let's give it another point because... Uh, I mean, it's two 21700s, right? Like, like to me, the Odin is a good mod, right? Like that, that it's a, and I don't have the best relationship with Bogan, but that's a good, that's a good mod that, that it's big, it's heavy as fuck, but it's, it's weight is proportionate. I get it. You don't want to be like that. I, I totally understand it, but that is a table mod. This doesn't fit in any bracket. It's not a table mod because it's lightweight. You can't really stand it up. You can, but it may fall down. Uh, I, I don't. I don't know, man. I don't. I don't know. I don't. I don't know why I have to justify a five rating. I think this is fucking crazy that people have broken haze mods. People have broken RDAs. I didn't comment on there with hey man. Uh, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. This mod's fantastic. No, that's someone's opinion. And and that was it. Was it a reviewer? No. Uh, well, I think mm, I guess you could say it was a reviewer. But there's been plenty of things that of mine that have been broken. If people want to buy the Inception and go outside and fucking break it, go for it. That's your money. Just like it's my fucking money that I bought this. Matt, Matt you didn't send it to me. If we're such boys and we're chill and we're on a text basis, why didn't you send me this? Like you said, why didn't I text you and ask you? I'm going to use the same argument. Like, since we're boys, why don't you text me and ask me, hey, I got 10 of these mods. I'm prototyping. You want to take a look at this? Tell me what I could do to make it better? Nope. How's that working out for you, Matt? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Right, so let's get into the name slap. Let's get into the name slap. Let's do it. Let's do the name slap. So if if you if you did design this, Matt, you can make this all go away in 10 seconds. Well, it, it's not even that big of a deal. You're just making it a big deal, right? Like with the Haze 20, guess what? That's a name slap. I got no fucking problem saying that. I said, look, you. it wasn't really a name slap, but I'm just going to say it just to stop people from trying to troll me. I took a 21700 that they already had, said, hey, make that a 2650. We'll call it the Haze 20. That's all. Name slap, done. Haze 20 squonk. I mean, it was already a name slap. We just double name slapped it. Haze, haze. Boom, boom. 
right? Easy, simple shit. Now, whether or not other people could do that, that's a different story, right? So, so my question is, uh, Matt, if you design this, right, why did it take two years to design something? If, and that's never a good thing. If, if, if I'm designing a mod and it takes two years to make that mod, something's fucking bad. Either I'm designing a line per day like I take a piece of paper and I'm like, you know, I'm going to design a mod today. There's the top part of the mod. Revisit that in a couple of days. All right. There's a button. All right. Uh, next week, next Friday, next Friday, I ain't got shit to do. We'll draw a side panel. Like why, um, why, why would it take two years to design this? There's there's nothing that is significant about this that 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 and, and we're we're getting it that, that this is following up with the name slap. So what I think is that they took the swell and they said we're gonna make that a dual twenty one seven hundred, sort of how Davpo took the Odin that was a twenty one seven hundred, made it into the Rivera with a dual eighteen six fifty and removed the fence. That's what I get out of this. This is Vanny Vape going the opposite direction. Saying, uh, we got the swell, let's make it a dual bat. Well, no, nah, not really, because the swell is a totally different mod. That that's my bad. I'm wrong there. Uh, but in a sense, it's the same chip, right? That's where the chip was. I think that's where the chip started. Uh, so using that chip, um, and then I guess it goes into a, another part of the name slap is you like typically smaller mods, right? Like, why would you design this? Like, I wouldn't design a five coil RDA. You know why? Because I don't vape that way. And I don't give a fuck about money enough to design a five-coil RDA. So why would you design something that's out of your wheelhouse? That's uh, Rebovich, Bree. That's, um, you know, what? okay. Um, so why would you design that? You know, like, what? Why? why would you make something that isn't what you use? Okay, and I, you know what, Matt? I'll give you that. What the fuck was that? Okay, I don't I don't know what that I don't know why that just popped up on the screen. Um I don't I don't know what that was. I don't I don't know. Hold on a second. Overlays? Okay. I I don't know what that was. All right. Um That was weird. Um, right. But, okay. So if you use the argument of Corona, uh, you, you want to come on? Sure. I don't, I don't have a problem coming on. Let me put this stuff back up. Give me a second. Get up, get up, get a browser open, Matt. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know why that. Um, I don't know why that chat. Why that popped up. Is it good? Okay. Okay. Let me know when you're ready, Matt. We'll we'll kind of pause it right where where where, where they're at till he comes on. Yeah, I don't have a problem. I don't have a problem coming on. I it's whatever. It's whatever. I I could do this. He said, give him a minute. Just give him a second, guys. Holy shit. Yeah, but it shouldn't have popped up on the screen. There's no overlay to show that. I don't know why that popped up. It's like glitched out from yesterday or something. I wanted to go more over the comments, um, but I, I guess we're just gonna kind of pause it. But I will say this: Yeah, I know what super chat was, guys. I get what it was. Off. Um, you know, when you read the comments, you could go read the pin comment. Well, it's not a pin comment, but you can go read the comment. Uh, you know, people start bringing Ariana into it, which is fucking stupid. Saying that I, ever since Air passed away, that I've been very vindictive, or I haven't let that go, so I've let it affected my reviews. 
Uh, no, that's never happened. Even the day after Ariana's death. How I Choose to Mourn Air's death has got nothing to do with people's reviews or people's products of reviews. No, that's not right. Reviewers' products for vapes has never been affected by that. Uh, and if that's something, this is someone trying to troll me, but it's not going to work, man. You're not going to say anything mean to me that I haven't heard before. So I can promise you that you may see my response and think that I'm angry. I promise you I'm not. Uh, I, I promise you. Okay. Um, we'll do it on Facebook. Let's hopefully this works. Let me do this. Open up. Uh, add guests. We're going to do it. Show interview window. Good. Copy link. Uh, where do you want me to send the message to, Matt? I'll send it to Facebook. Uh, Facebook. Matt. You're not on here. Did you remove me on Facebook? Your profile's blocked. <laughs> Did you block me on Facebook? Where do you want me to send it to you? <laughs> let me try. I can't. I'll send it on. Uh, let me send it on Messenger. Do you have Messenger set up on the thing you're on? Okay, I'm gonna, yeah, I can't send a message. Oh, oh, wait, 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 hold on. There we go. All right, let me set this up. Hopefully this works. It's gonna make me all rectangular and fat face, but deal with it. Check your Facebook, I sent the link. Unless that didn't go through. I am fat. Shut it, Antonis. I got this beard. Matt, I sent the message, man. Did you get it? It it doesn't... Oh, there you go. I see you on Facebook. Okay. Yeah, that's that's right, Seth. I didn't break it. Um, I don't know why it's not connecting. Let me let me try. We'll try a different link. Hold on. Create new link. All right, check. Try this one, Matt. It's a new link. Okay. A year ender live. Bree, can you click a link and see if it lets you join it? All right, tell me if it lets you join this. You don't, just, if you. Hmm. Um, it says connecting. Yeah, um, shit, I don't have Skype on here either. Um, hold on a second. Yeah, just click this on WhatsApp and tell me if it lets you join.
Just hold on a second, Matt. Okay, so let Bree let Bree do. Um, can you, Matt? Can you uh, reset or restart the browser? May do like a command Q. Looks like you're on a Mac, maybe. Yeah, because it worked for Bree. Oh, let, let me just. Up oh, there it is. Got it. And just. Hello, Matt. What's up? Wait, Hold on, let me, close your, uh, let me close your okay. stream. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. All right, perfect. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Very good. All right. Go ahead, talk to me. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> good morning. How goes it? Talk to me. So let me ask you, if, if you said that this mod, now I didn't know this because I didn't mention this in the video. So you said that this mod took two years to make. No, I said that we started on it towards the end of 2018. Okay. But what people have to understand is, is that when you do a product with a Chinese company, you're at the whim of their schedule. Absolutely. Right? So like, I would have loved to have put this thing out in 2019, but they were dragging their feet. And every time we made a change, it would take two or three months to get a, to get a revision. So yeah, if I was like there working with, you know, straight with the manufacturer, like if it was local or something, probably could have gotten it done in four, five, six months. But, but uh, when you work with China, there's always delays and then they don't want to re release it right away. And originally it was going to be released beginning of, and people flip me shit for saying this for some reason, like I was using COVID as an excuse that that wasn't valid. But at the beginning of January, February, that's when we were going to do it. But all the manufacturers put a pause on their shit and pushed everything back. And they had, they had problems with manufacturing and stuff. So when you're saying January, February, are we talking about January, February, 2020, January, February, 2020? yeah, January, February, 2020. Okay. 2020. Okay, so, all right, so let, let's get into the name slap thing because that seems to be where you where you have a bit of a conflict. Uh, with That's my big saying. issue, and you said the same shit on my last product on the con. And, yeah, and and here's the thing, I understand that you want to go into a product like totally uh, unbiased without knowing totally. anything and not watch other people's videos. That's fine. I, I watch other reviewers' videos before I before I review sure. their product because I want to see where their mind was at. Sure. But if you don't want to do that, that's totally fine. Yeah. But when you make an accusation, like someone just, oh, they, they sent a finished product to Matt and he stamped his name on it, that shit spreads like wildfire. And the last time you did that, I got shit all over the place for it. And it, it wasn't true. So, well, what so if, like, I have no, if you if you don't like the mod, Mm -hmm. that's fine. I totally respect that. Right. But go into it like you would with another product that maybe isn't a reviewer and just say, I don't like the mod. You make it personal when you start saying that I just snap, slapped my name on shit, basically implying that it was a cash grab, even though you didn't have to say that. Hold on. They're saying that you're too loud. Hold on. Um, can you say something so I can make sure that we're at the same? Check, check one, two, check one, two, check. Okay, check we should check. be good there. We should be good there. Sorry about that. Why it was loud. I don't know why it was louder. Um, okay. So do uh, first off, let's go back to what you just said. So are we, let, let's clarify that word. Cause you're saying accusation. So why don't we go into the word of assumption better than accusation? I feel like it's accusation. Okay, that's fair. We'll, we'll, we'll use assumption. Yeah. Well, assumption. Okay. But now you saying that I should go into it like I would a normal product is fine, but you know, and you know this, Matt, that when when a reviewer puts their name on something, whether it's a name slap, whether it's designing it, whatever, putting their name on a device, I hold that to a certain standard because that person has experience in that realm. So it should be better than something that would van. I don't want to use Vanny Vape as an example, but any company would do by themselves unless they have a really good designer there. Right. What would you not agree with that? Yeah. And that's okay. That's kind of a different issue. I'm that's fine with you saying, Hey, the product should have, uh, uh, I think the Mac could have done better or whatever. That's your prerogative. Right. If that's how you feel. My point is, is like, I think you make it personal when you make assumptions about something that isn't true because you don't ever have to go back and clarify yourself. 
you just put it out into the ether. <laughs> hey, Matt just snapped, it, slapped his name on this, and then it's fucking there. You're and right. I rarely You're see right. you go back You're and right. say, hey, guys, I was wrong. But, I'm I, sorry. but I do I was write, wrong. But, but I do write, that's bullshit because right now we're on a video. See, Matt, you approached me, right? Other people don't approach and they leave it at that video. I don't Dude, you're so predictable. It. You think I didn't know you were going to make a live stream this morning the minute I made that comment? Like, I know you. And I, I knew I was giving you. And I even thought about this. I was like, if I make this comment, then it's going to turn into a live. It's going to trickle into tomorrow. And then my day tomorrow is going to be annoying. Now, get the fuck exactly, out of here. Get out of here. I knew exactly what I was getting myself into here. It's very predictable. Right. Okay. So, so going into the name. All right. Let's go back into the name slap. So you're telling me. Matt, all honesty, all, all bullshit aside, that you, and I, and I get it that some people don't use CAD. I get that. You just kind of just say, hey, I want to do this. And then you get with the company. You say, this is what I want to do. Let's bang this out, right? So mm -hmm. now now that I would not consider a name slap. N not at all. Because you're, you're giving ideas. You're saying, let's do this. Fine, whatever. What I consider a name slap is simple the, uh the, the, whatever they're making a mod they're say hey we're making this mod do you want to do a collaboration with us that's what a name slap is to me yeah yeah okay. that same, same same with me that's what i think a name right. slap is and that is absolutely not what happened and i've not on none of my products has that ever been what's happened i showed prototypes of this mod to mike vapes and a few other reviewers sure. over a year ago i have i have uh um um, uh, 3D printed somewhere in storage because it was from my old house before I moved here. I have 3D printed uh, uh, versions of this mod. This mod would not exist if it wasn't for me. Now, you don't have to like the mod, but I absolutely said at the time, at the time, remember when I was thinking about this, it was 2018. All the 21700 mods were heavy as hell. They were made of a zinc alloy. They were big, chunky. And so... I think I was probably watching a video on, you know, like maybe it was, or no, maybe I was reviewing like Tony's first pulse or something. And I'm like, why can't we use this plastic for a dual 21700 sure. mod sure. and make them way lighter? Sure. And I love C frames sure. and there wasn't a dual 21700 uh, C frame at the time. So that's where my brain was at. And there still isn't a dual. I, I don't think that there's a dual battery 21700 C frame. So yeah, absolutely. Okay, so so you're telling me, and I'm gonna I'm gonna take your word for it that you designed this and that Vandy Vape did not have the mod and send to you and say, hey, would you like to put your name on this? You you started freezing a little bit there, but no. I, if you're asking. Did they come to me with the mod and ask yes. me if I wanted to put my name on it? That absolutely did not happen. The mod was my idea. Okay. Okay. Um, I, I I mean, I don't need to see proof. I'll take your word for it. Well, and I mean, in private, I could send you a no, message. No, you don't, you don't need to. Your, your, word, like your word is good enough. Your word, I, I'll take your word for it. Your word's good enough for me. I don't need so, to. So you, then you got to put yourself in my shoes here. You know, that I, I obviously know that you're a reviewer that 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 uh, gets very detailed and is very opinionated and is going to nitpick some stuff. I know that going into it and that's fine. That's who you are. But it is when you've worked on something for a long time and then someone implies that you just slapped your name on it. That's what gets me upset. And you you know, your friend or your fans can call me a snowflake or whatever. But <laughs> if you had done the same, if you had done the same and then all of a sudden I was like, well, this uh, thing here that Jay had, I don't even know if he, he came up with it because it doesn't really seem like Jay, he might have just put his name on it. You would feel offensive or offended because... Sure, slightly, sure. Because yeah. you put the time and effort into it. Right, but don't you think me saying that it's a name slap or it is... Um, I, I think even in the video, I, I, I can't recall it verbatim, but... I, I said, I wonder if this is a name slap. I, I don't yeah, know. Dude, you I, always say that. You you throw a little, dude, come on. Little jabs. I know you. That's what I, I know do, you. though, Matt. That's it's never been any different. Jab. Well, I don't know for sure here, right. but I think Jay might have done right. this. But what's this wrong now. with that? It's not like I. I Nothing, but you know what? It's 2020. Times have changed. I'm not going to fucking just sit down and, and let you fuck me like that without putting, without uh, standing up for myself. Like, 
I, you know that I'm not a drama guy. That's not right. my thing. Right. I'm not, I'm not a drama guy, but at this point, when you when you come at me like that and say something that's not true, I am going to absolutely uh, uh, set the record straight. Sure, and that, that that you know what, Matt? I wish other reviewers when I did reviews on their products and I said the same thing about them had the balls or the intestinal fortitude, if you will, to come on a channel uh, or on my channel and do that. Because you know, I'm not going to attack you. I'm going to let you say what you got to say. I'll say what I got to say. You have a conversation like normal people, uh, but. The, the problem I have is that so many people, and I'm not going to call out names because I know you don't like drama, but so many people do do the name slap. It's very difficult for me to tell the difference between um, someone that's doing it versus someone that's not doing it. So I, I think it's more of a safeguard for me to assume that everybody is doing it unless I have ways to know otherwise. And I never saw the prototype. Right. I never saw I didn't know you were making this. So how would I have known that anything of what you're saying, uh, aside from us right now, that this was something you created? Uh, yeah, and I think that that's fine. But again, that's where it comes into play where you could have just messaged me. But it's more. Dude, you sometimes you got to freaking own what you are, too. It's more fun for you to put it out into the public and possibly have a little drama over it. That's who you are. You know I, I that would... you could have said, you could have texted me and just been like, Matt, real quick, did you just name slap on this or not? Because I'm not sure. And uh, I'm, a, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna make my video. You didn't but need who... to say anything else. You didn't okay. need to say like, you know, you didn't need to say, oh, I'll watch your video or tell me about the product. Right. But you could have said, Hey Matt, did you just put your name name on this? But you knew that it would push some buttons. I, it would I just cause agree. a little controversy, gonna, and it would get on. you fucking views. Hold on, That's hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on a second. Hold on, backtrack for a minute. There's no difference whether it is you or someone else, right? right. Saying that Don't I did that, that, I'm getting feedback. I don't know. It. No, no, no nothing for me. No, okay. Um, nope, I still. Bree, do you have it open? No. no? Um, okay. So, shit, I lost my train of thought. Oh, about the views. About the views. So, if you and I know, and I'm, I'm not, I'm not. This is not me questioning you as a person or a viewer of mine on YouTube. But if you know me over the years, I've gotten less and less and less uh, angry. Right? I break less products. I haven't been outside very often. The only time I really do it is when it's a product that can't be broken. So. Uh, to say that, first off, to say that I get it for views, I think as a creator, you should know that whenever you create a video, you do that for views. Why sure. I have to remind you of that? But Dude, I will tell I you this: that it doesn't matter what it doesn't matter whether it's you, Matt, or someone else. If someone's got a name on it, if someone's got a name on a product, and there is zero innovation aside from just the batteries being different okay and it being a dual battery 21700 you you can't help but think it's a name slap because i don't see uh, on this mod specifically what wh what is different about this mod that you would put your name on it uh, aside from it just being dual 21700 and light like what wh well excuse me that's all right that's that's where uh um, I mean, if you would have watched my video and again, fine, you didn't, then you would have known where my mind was at with it. Now, obviously, when you make a mod nowadays, coming up with something a completely different, like say a shape right. is damn it's near impossible. impossible. Right. I get right. It. Sure. But I love C frame mods. I always have. I have from the high end days. I used to love the zero and stuff yep, like that. I've, I know. I know. Yeah. I've always loved C frame mods. And I knew that. That there wasn't a dual 21700 C-frame mod. And I also knew that all the mod, the dual 21700 mods at the time, since then, like Bogan's mod came out with aluminum, making it lightweight and so forth. But at the time, all the mods were heavy as fuck. So I thought it would be cool to make a C-frame, very, very lightweight uh, dual 21700 mod. I wasn't thinking, and I might have even said this in my video, not trying to reinvent the wheel here. I'm just making something that I think would be cool and no one's done it yet in, in that form factor and that material. Mm. 
Yeah, I, I look again. If if the if that it's difficult because all the stuff that Vanny Vape has done has been essentially plastic, uh, with re, with reviewers in regards to you know. I, I guess I'm just referring really to Tony B's Pulse for sure. Being plastic Pulse V2 being plastic, uh, Swell being plastic. You know, just just venturing into the plastic ABS realm. And I get it. I I I, I think I read this on the package, or maybe I heard it from somewhere that this is not a typical type of plastic it's something uh no it's like a fiberglass infused plastic right. and um, i've you know from from the first time i reviewed one of those mods i loved that shit just because it was still felt durable it was super duper lightweight and uh and it was just something different and cool and so yeah it's not like it you know it was i was the guy that like let's make the first plastic mod i wanted to use that material which was why i went to vandy vape in the first place because they were the only ones that had Doing that material plastic. that were using it at the time. Sure. And sure. I also, of course, knew that some people don't like Vandy Vape and that I would get some flack for that. But I wanted to make it out of that material, and it is what it is. Mm. Okay. Uh, I, I think that I think it's a suffice enough answer, you know, that you saying that you didn't name slap. And I apologize for saying that you name slapped on it. Uh, I, I'll take your word for it. I, I don't, again, I mean, you know how I feel about it. I, I didn't break the product, but I, I think a five is, if this would have came out, but again, I, I, I'm not going to question, you know, uh, well, you yeah, already. No, I mean, I'm, I'm fine with your rating, dude. And I probably shouldn't have said, I, I was frustrated last night. I shouldn't have said you shit on all my products. Yeah, you're right. You haven't true. always, you've always said some negative stuff, sure. but you're right. You yeah. haven't always, uh, you haven't always, uh, um, Liked some of them, and some of them you liked more than others. Sure, I was frustrated. I lashed out as well. That's fine. Um, we all do. But the and so I apologize for that. But my my big issue really was just the name slap that got got the stick in my ass. You know that got me uh, <laughs> that got me worked up. <laughs> I think, yeah, it's it's what it's whatever. It's whatever. Um, yeah. I, again, there. It, it, why not? Why not make it so it does a thirty millimeter? Since you did the bubble out, why not? I tried. I tried. It was just it, that platform sticking out there. You know how the platform already yeah. comes out a little bit to accommodate 28. It looked super funky, making it too big. And then I also tried making it the whole thing just thick, like 30 millimeters thick, almost like an Aegis legend, you know, where those are pretty... Uh -huh pretty thick yeah. and it just felt it just felt too big so that was a happy medium but i i knew that some people wouldn't like the fact that it uh that it wouldn't accommodate a 30. okay all right uh, yeah i mean I, I really don't know a lot of people that use 30 millimeters anyway so um may i ask yeah, another I mean, question sure. may, may I ask sure. another, why 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 the different materials why the the, the fake carbon fiber with the um leather why not well, there's new all leather. Well, originally I wanted to do all resin and we tried, right? Like uh or some other material like G10. Okay. But in order to in order to machine it with that curve, you like have a to whole piece, press it down together and machine it out. It's it was machine. just it, it according to Vandy Vape, it costed way too much money Very and was expensive. too time intensive. Sure, sure. And so that's why and and same with like you know, mods like the the uh, loss vape stuff. That's sure. why there's usually like a double, like a flat panel and a wrap because right. uh, making it all one piece is right. too difficult. I wanted to do like a one piece G10 wrap or something okay. like that. Right. And uh, it just, it wasn't feasible financially. It would have made the mod be like 20 bucks. It would have been more expensive. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and why, and why specifically the Vandy chip is, why the Vandy chip over, let's just say, making that a 250, a DNA 250? Is it for price? I mean, yeah, for price, okay. for price. And uh, I mean, that's the chip that they had developed. It's not like uh, any Vandy reviewer doesn't ever, really use any other chip. It's not like any reviewer is ever going to be able to go to like uh, to a manufacturer and be like, I want to create a whole new chip because that costs hundreds of thousands sure. of dollars oh, yeah right 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 i get it i get it I, it's just like now, people people ask a question why not put a 250c in it now i will tell you another another company and i never approached them on this but i did have the idea of talking to vupu about it but uh um 
at the time, Vupu was hated, you know, just as sure. much, if not more than Vandy Vape as well. And uh, they didn't have that plastic. So that was like the ma- that was like the main reason I went to uh, to Vandy Vape. How are the sales on the motor? Is it too new to know? I don't even know yet. Yeah, it's probably too new. And and just so you know, I absolutely disagree with the people that said or the person that said something about uh, about your daughter in that thread. Yeah, I don't I don't like to make this shit personal. That yeah, stuff's fucked. No, that's not on you, man. That's that's just stupid fucking trolls. That's all that is. It's whatever. Um, there's something else I want to ask you about the mod. Uh. And for those of you that are in chat saying this is some type of sales ploy, like a like a Eminem MGK <laughs> album thing, no, that's not what this is. You could tell clearly I was a little pissed off in the beginning, yelling at Matt. Uh, we didn't I- plan this. We didn't plan this. Maybe we no, should have. Not- <laughs> we definitely didn't plan this. I mean, it, it would be impressive for me to do that, uh, but <laughs> I'm not going to give myself that much credit, nor Matt, for us to do a ploy to do sales. If we would have planned it, then I would have made a video on my channel, and we could have just had a- Just gone a back, back and, and forth. forth. Right. Next thing you know, we'd be like doing battle rap shit and uh, and all kinds right, of stuff. Right, right. Uh, definitely not planned. Definitely not planned. Um, what else? What else do I have for it? So, so let me ask you. So when you, when you did the prototype, right, going back, uh, two years ago or a year ago when you were showing other people, um, why, why didn't you, why didn't you mention anything to me? Because if we go back two years ago, we had a, we had a pretty good relationship. Like Jay, what do you, what do you think of this? What, what do you, what do you say? Well, I mean, okay. First off, I know you dislike Vandy vape. So, I mean, the minute I say I'm doing this mod with Vandy vape, I I know you're not gonna like it. Regardless. Yeah, but I've liked Vandy Vape products before. That's a well, typical I'm, troll response was, on my channel. This was like two years ago, so I mean, maybe since then you've liked some. I don't know, but um, well, not two years. End of 2018 is when I started it, and it was just, when I showed the other reviewers. It was like you know how um, Mike and some of those guys get in Zoom sometimes. Sure. Uh, it was just impromptu. I had just gotten the pictures and I said, Oh, check this, check this out. What do you guys think? And I showed him the, uh, the, uh, 3d printed version. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah. I mean, you even, you even but tell I'm, me that, I, that I'm, that, I'm that's sorry that I didn't, I'm sorry that I didn't show it to you. No, it's fine. It's I, I was just, because then I, I, it would have been very difficult for me to use the argument of a name slap if I would have known, you know, uh, Hey, like great example. I, I'm sure he then did this with many other people is when he was releasing, I, I don't know if it was, I think it was a single. When he was releasing the single, I, I guess instead of me saying, hey, it's a name slap, I, I don't know if I was really saying it that, that much back then, but uh, when he, he sent me like one of the prototypes and maybe he had a hundred of them made. I don't, I don't know if you got one. I don't know if Mike Vapes got one, but it would have been difficult for me to use that as an argument because, well, here's an RDA that, you know, uh, is non-release with no with no uh, stamps or anything on it to say that this was manufactured. So, you know, it, it would have been a good way for me to know. So I will tell you this then, Matt, any future products that you plan on releasing, maybe drop me a note. Hey, I got this shit coming out. So when you see it in 2028, don't say it's a name slap because here's some proof before then. And then I'll remember that when I do the review. He didn't find that. <laughs> it's okay. All right. Next one, I'll do it. And I'll send you, I'll send you all the different photos from the, from the ground up as well. And, uh, you don't have to go that name. far. I was trying to make it's, a joke out of it. Whatever. Clear, clear my name before, before it starts. <laughs> it's whatever. It's all good. So, you know, um, I, okay. So but besides that, how have you been? I've, I've been all right, man. You know, um, yeah, just doing just doing the daily, the reviews every day. I think the same shit you do, just reviews and that's it. Are you not, not are you lot. still able to keep your shop open with the shit that happened in New Jersey or what are yeah, you doing? I mean, technically in New Jersey, I, I could in theory, but I would only be able to sell uh tobacco flavors. And yeah. that you know and when you look at the walls, well, those are like empties, but when you look at the walls, if you, we, we tried this for like the first week, but what happens is, is people would come in and they'd say, oh, uh, we see you got strawberry in the wall. Why can't I buy that? And then you have to explain to them the law and that they can't buy it. And then they give you a negative review. 
<laughs> yeah. because they can't buy the flavor that's on the wall. But that's the way New Jersey is. So it was just a matter of just the same thing what New York did, just shut down all their stores and then just ship out of state because that's they're, they're, what else am I going to do? You know, so that's right. so you're still shipping out of state, but you're not your your brick and mortars closed. Basically, it's closed, closed in New Jersey. Yeah, um, and that's it. And there's not a whole lot I can do, you know. And it's just a matter of, well, I, I don't I don't know what's going to happen when Biden becomes president. But I mean, that's you know, that's it. The way that I feel about vape, I think is totally different than the way you feel about vape and where the future of vape is going. Uh, it's it's very grim. It's not a, I feel like it's going to go back to what it was in 2015, 2016. I think. Yeah. I mean, I I think it's, we're definitely going through scary times and it's, there's going to be consolidation and there's going to be a lot of businesses closing and there's going to be a lot of black gray markets that are going to be popping up. Yep. Yep. It's a sense of, and for anybody that's new or watching this, what, what that essentially means is, the typical way that you buy your stuff now is not going to be that easy. I, I I I think it's a matter of when the FDA starts, you know, knocking down these business doors. Saying, yeah. Hey, well, and it's, it's uh, there's always going to be like out of out of country foreign yep. online retailers that'll ship sure. here, sure. no matter what. Just like they ship, you know, illegal cigarettes here and yep. stuff and like drugs. that. And drugs. You but, get drugs in the mail. Yeah, but the problem is, is like. You know, the hobbyists like you or me or or probably most of the people watching you will always find a way to get what they want. Sure. But, you know, the, the more stores, storefronts that are closed like yours, then the, the granny that's that's 65 years old that was thinking about kicking her yep. smoking habit. But all of a sudden she has no vape True. shop to go to isn't going to convert. And that's what that's what yep. really screws up the whole you know, movement and getting everyone, everyone off of cigarettes. Yeah. We, we've, we've had a lot of people that, you know, use the shop here and they're, they're now smoking cigarettes because we knew them personally. And their excuse was, you know, even a lot of other sh- shops in New Jersey feel the same way that there was no point of just selling tobacco, you know, because how small of a, like th- there's, th- you're not going to na- make enough just to pay the one employee off of tobacco e-liquid sales anyway. So uh, a lot of shops have, have closed and there's a lot of shops in New Jersey that just ignore it, that still sell to the public, that, you know, they, they just ignore the law. And I, I'm not one of those people. You know, I'm not going to go. I just I'm not going to put my license at a even though I do have a vapor license, I, yeah. I'm not going to put myself in that predicament to sell illegally. I'm just not going to do it. And like you said, it is going to affect the, the people that are trying to get into vape. And if they never hear about it or, or know about it, they're, they're not they're not going to look online. So it's just going to I think it's going to wither down, wither down. Yeah, I mean, it's I don't I don't think vaping is ever going to go away. And I think there's going to be a point again where you have another resurgence, but it could take years, you know, sure. like. And like you said, it could it could be one of those more underground things like the, you know, when I started vaping um, around uh, what was it like 2012, I think 2012. It was like just when more vape shops were starting to pop up. But still, people were buying things like off of forums and stuff to get a certain juice that some guy makes, you know, and it, yep. it was like this small kind of underground thing. Yep. But you're, uh, I do want to ask you something that I found quite interesting is I see this a lot in comments and I'm going to kind of hit you, not blindsided, but uh, I'm just going to ask you. So you're, uh, you're, uh, <laughs> we'll say you're on the side of Biden. Yeah. Um, I'm not on the side of Biden. I, I, Biden was my least favorite Democrat pick. Now, right. am I a Trump fan? No, I'm not a Trump fan. Okay. And so. And so, uh, you know, unfortunately, when it comes to elections, there's lesser of two evils. Sure. But uh, I don't see uh, a good outlook. That's where I was going. With I didn't it, see a good and... outlook with either of them. Well, I'm, I, I was I was going to segue into the Biden and vaping since Kamala Harris helped with the whole PMTA and, well, where that's going to lead us. She didn't help with the PMTA, but she was hard on. She made a lot of negative comments about vaping when she was in California. When she was attorney general and stuff, didn't didn't she kind of like start 
the whole PMTA process, Kamala Harris? No, I mean she wasn't even in in the Senate back then. She was a she was California's yeah, attorney general. Yeah, and she was California's attorney general. Um, the PMTA process really started like back in, with you know you had the master settlement agreement, and then you had the Tobacco Control Act that was that was passed during the Obama years, and uh, Congress basically set up a uh, a a uh, um, application system where if anybody wanted to release new tobacco products, they had to go through all these hoops. But she, but she spoke very avidly against vaping. I mean, I've, I've yeah, when she seen... was ca a California Attorney General, I'm pretty sure she said a few negative things, and she's she's like co-sponsored anti vape right. bills and stuff like that. So, what do you think is going to happen with vaping when they when they go into office? You don't think that that's going to kind of speed things up? Well, I mean, I think that they definitely, I, I think the fact that the FDA has already started the pre-market tobacco application process and already had the deadline and there's already been, you know, like over a million applications submitted. I think that they're not going to necessarily get involved with that, um, especially because, you know, there's bigger fish to fry, obviously, in in the country right now. But, you know, like this uh, USPS ban and, and turning making vape part of the PACT Act, I mean, that's not good at all. And, sure. uh, and uh, um, you know, Trump signed that. But, I mean, it's tough, to, it's tough to say, like, if there was another, like, all of a sudden, it's another teen vaping epidemic and the numbers go back up. Will will because teen vaping numbers have gone way down this year, but uh, if the numbers go back up, will they all of a sudden support a flavor ban or something? Maybe I just don't think vapes like you know big on their uh, on their to do list right now yeah. because of uh, everything else going on in this country. But you know where we're at already is enough to to hurt us and and the state and it, like you know with New Jersey, um, and even in Montana they almost ban flavors. The uh, the state stuff is is the bigger, you know, like near and present danger, in my opinion. Yeah, I would have to agree. But I mean, it's 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 going to be an interesting few years. You're definitely going to see more and more consolidation. Um, you know, like I don't think online sales will go away with the USPS thing and the PACT Act, but it could, you know, consolidate and only a few of the big dogs, like say a Vail Vapor or something, are the ones that are willing to jump through the hoops to sell online. Right. Um, and uh, I mean, like we've already seen, I think I saw a stat a couple days ago where um, somebody was tracking 7,500 vape shops since 2015. Half of those have already gone out of business. So, I mean, that's big time consolidation. And you could make an argument that for a while there, if you remember like probably 2014, 2015, the, they're all of a sudden everybody and their mother opened a vape shop. And even in small towns, you'd oh, have yeah. like five, you'd have like five vape shops. So you could make an argument that, uh, um, you know, this was going to happen regardless. Consolidation always happens as an industry sure. matures, but there's definitely some areas where there's no vape shops at all now. And that's, that's obviously pretty detrimental. Yeah, it's bad. It's bad. I mean, especially in New Jersey. I mean, there's the more smokers. I'd love to see some type of statistics for how many people transition from vaping back into smoking. Once a lot of these shops started closing. Uh, and yeah. Again, well, I mean, the smoking around. rates went back up, went uh, up in uh, Massachusetts from what I, uh, remember after they uh, implemented their flavor ban as well yeah but massachusetts correct me if i'm wrong has released that flavor ban yes That's... now they still have the same flavor ban it's the same thing that wasn't that didn't change nope but i mean they're now like there's and there's been a few articles on this. There's like a big ass black market in Massachusetts where people are just crossing state lines, bringing trunks full of products back and like selling it. And so it's just like what we've seen with the war on drugs where, you know, when there's a demand for something, people are going to find a way to get it and, uh, and they'll break the law to do it. And so, uh, you know, d all they're doing is pushing a lot of this business underground, unfortunately. Yep. I don't see it getting any better. So have to just wait and see. No, I mean it's it's wild times. It's 
it's definitely scary times for sure. Like I, I don't necessarily, like I said, I don't think we're ever going to see vaping get killed, but, uh, uh, you know, the amount of new, this industry has always relied on new vapors, you know, coming in and growing and growing and growing. And I think now it's shrinking and that's, that's not good for the future. Let me, let me ask you real quick. Uh, I don't want to take up too much of your time. I'm sure you said that you, you didn't want me to burn half your day because of the video that I would have made due to no. your comment. Um, <laughs> so let, let me ask you this. Uh, I know you're very, uh, very big on advocacy, right? And you know, I'm not kind of, I don't really stand in the corner of advocacy just because of, well, where I'm at and how little they've done to help out my situation. Uh, what, what, what do you foresee advocacy doing to help out, uh, vaping? Because, well, I would, I would have to say, and I, I think I speak for a majority of people that they've lost a lot of faith in those advocacy things because, well, look at where we're at. Yeah, I think that's, you know, it's fair to, to feel that way, but at the same time, I think things would be even worse if there wasn't, um, advocacy. I mean, even here in Montana, I mean, there, it was like boots on the ground advocates and lobbying were all like contacting different uh, members of Congress to try to get them in Montana to try to get them to intervene in this health department flavor ban. And it ended up, ended up working. And so, yeah, I mean, we've had big, big losses, but, um, but I still think we'd be in a way worse position now. Well, what about on a federal know, level? I'm not. I'm not really referencing. Yeah, if we're talking state level, I've totally given up. Uh, but if, <laughs> I'm talking more federally, like federally, as far as laws, like the PMTA process and FDA and uh, appeals, you know, like Nicopure and all those that have lost all their appeals and they just continue to keep trying to appeal and they keep losing. Yeah, I mean, I think some of the valid than others. I'm not just because I'm I'm an advocate doesn't necessarily right. mean that I agree with every tactic that's ever been taken because there's okay. been multiple different advocacy groups, trade groups, uh, lawsuits, so on and so forth. Right. Um, but yeah, I mean, dude, the way the Tobacco Control Act was written, it was a hard bitch to fight against, and uh, um, you know the the reason that there are some politicians that have stood up for vaping and even delayed some things or like, you know, originally this USBS ban was going to get, was going to get voted on like a year ago, but it got delayed because uh, lobbyists paid for by advocacy organizations got to a few politicians to get them to hold it up. Um, you know, there's things like that, but obviously like we're not all always on the inner workings of what's going on and we just see when there's failures. And so yeah. I totally understand that, but you know, I think, you know, when some people say, Oh, ad advocacy's done nothing or, or these trade groups have done nothing or Casas done nothing. I don't think that that's fair either. Well, no, I, I, I definitely wouldn't say they've done nothing. I don't, I don't think that's a fair assessment. I just don't think that they've done enough. That's, that's, that's where I'm at. Not, not. A yeah. Thing. A lot of it's like organization too, though. I mean, we've always been splintered. There's been multiple different groups. Some of the biggest companies uh, have given very little money wise. And so, you know, unfortunately, like we've never got, gotten like our act together where we were like, and it's a new industry too. I'm sure, you know, the NRA probably wasn't very powerful in its first five, 10 years, you know, when it started up, but um, it's, it's just one of those growing pains kinds of things. At some point, hopefully there's one big organization that's an umbrella and has the power, but I mean, having, getting enough money together to fight the government and fight, but, you know, what pharma wants and fight what big tobacco wants is pretty damn tough. But use but using the argument, like use the NRA as an argument. You said, you know, like when they started off, they, you know, uh, they didn't have as much as support as they do, uh, do now, which is a valid argument. But with vaping, because states are banning it, it's not going to get any better. Like you're not going to get more because less people are likely to get into it as far as corporations are concerned, because they already know it's a gray area. You know, there's it's not even a matter that it's a gray area. There are literally laws in place yeah. to stop it. So um, I, I can't see it getting any better. The only thing I could see is, you know, 10, 15 years down the road, something comes out that says, you know, hey, 
Um, vaping isn't bad, you know, uh, whatever. Like true, and obviously it's got to be anecdotal and scientific and have to be an extensive amount of time. Look at marijuana. Look how long that took before that was finally uh, being looked at to be legal in more states. You know, even yeah. though federally it's illegal, but. Um, well, I mean, I'm of the firm belief that industry should be funding majority of these fights. Yes, a consumer, like if you're, you know, if you are passionate about vaping, you feel like vaping saved your life, then give five bucks a month to CASA or a buck or two to a month to CASA. That's great. But majority of the money should be coming from the big companies. The, the, the big companies. And uh, yeah. some have been very good at that and others Others haven't, but, uh, yeah, I mean, only time will tell. I mean, I think, I think the longer this industry matures, you're going to, like I said, see more consolidation. There's going to be, there's not going to be thousands of e-liquid companies. There might be 10 or 20 that have multiple lines under them and they, uh, and they have more power. Um, you know, there, maybe we'll see more consolidation with hardware too, or less products coming out. Um, I, I don't know, but, uh, you know, you don't have to necessarily be in order to be an advocate, all you have to do is just advocate. So you don't necessarily even have, you know, if you're a consumer, you don't have to give money or whatever, but keep on, keep tabs on what's going on in your state. If you hear of a, you know, join your local state Facebook group or whatever. And, uh, because those things have helped, you know, we always hear about, when a state turns bad, like in New Jersey, but people, you know, the public rising up and, uh, and having some public outrage about something has helped in other states. There's been a lot of, of vape bills, more vape bills in states have gotten killed than have passed. Yeah. Almost every Hard for someone like had, me, almost that every is... state has had an anti-vape bill at this point. Right, but yeah, mine's not even a bill; it's a friggin' law. Uh, but you know, well, yeah, yours was a bill that passed and became law. <laughs> you know, my and it, it's hard for someone, you know, and I'm sure there's a lot of vapors in New Jersey that follow me. It's very hard for us to believe in something that, quite literally, as much as you may say they helped out or they 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 drug it out as long as they could, uh, the end result is a loss. You know, as as much as you may go ten rounds in a boxing match, if you lose, you lose. And, and that's quite what happened in New Jersey is we lost. So it's it's very difficult for me to have any kind of hope in a uh, organization that may send out letters and emails to contact senators or, or Congress. I, I do feel 100% in saying that I feel bigger companies that are located in New Jersey instead of, well, obviously move out of New Jersey if you have to, to keep a business afloat. At the same time, you should be one of the bulk contributors to uh to the plan to stop the bill from passing that's i i, I wholeheartedly agree yeah with yeah i mean it's so and once something becomes law that it, it makes it just 10 times harder so to, difficult to change so difficult. you know like the, the time to kill a bill is before it even comes to a full vote it's like yep. you know when it's in committee or even before, when it's about to hit committee and uh you know, unfortunately, again, you know, I tend to lean left on some things, but the Democrats have been awful on vaping. They've and 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 so you see Democratic governors where it's it's not like you know a lot one of times state, that one state is Republican, state? Massachusetts. It's the only one. Yeah, yeah, Massachusetts. That's a Democratic governor. I don't but, give a shit what anybody. <laughs> they, they get they they get lobbyists lobbying for these vape. Uh, bands, right? So you get, you know, there's a big business in all these different organizations for health, cancer organization, heart association, can campaign for tobacco free kids. There's billions of dollars in this and they've, and uh, they have mon way more money than we do to put into lobbyists. And, uh, you know, so you're a governor and all of a sudden here comes cancer organization saying, Hey, uh, the kids are starting to vape in your state. We really need you guys to uh, to ban these bills. You know, you and Congress, need, or I'm sorry, ban these flavors. You and Congress need to need to get on this. Who are you going to believe them? Or then all of a sudden, all these ragtag vapors like us who are like, hey, these are helping us quit smoking. And the problem is, is we don't have, 
enough in the scientific, we have some, but not enough in the scientific community standing up for us. And on their end, they have all these people that look all reputable that are, that are on the other side. Sure. Sure. I agree. And so it's, it's a very tough battle. Now in the UK, it's kind of opposite where you got to, there's some anti uh, vape, vape uh, uh, medical professionals over there, but you got a lot of the bigger, bigger ones that are, uh, you know, have positions in government and whatnot that have totally accepted this as harm reduction. They think it's going to lower their healthcare costs. They want to be smoke free by 2030. And so, um, you know, it's just kind of like the, um, medical consensus that uh, it's a net positive to get people to vape instead of smoking. <clears throat> now, at some point, will we get there? Probably. But look at how long it even took for people to like wise up to marijuana not being the devil's drug, right? Yeah. So 40 like, years, you know, 50 years, yeah. 70s. Yeah. I, I mean, I don't know. In the, in the age of the internet and stuff, I don't think it's going to take that long for vaping. But it could take a decade or two where there's so much finally at some point there's going to be so much science that they're they can't turn their back on it and they just have to accept it and the uk is going to be like you know nobody's going to be smoking in the uk and and there's still going to be 10 12 14 percent smokers in the states and they're going to have to accept that we were wrong we were on the wrong side of history maybe we need to change tactics that's how it happened before, right? When when UK was telling us, uh, I think it was UK about smoking cigarettes, how it was bad for us, but we were the ones doing all the advertising on, on commercials. Yeah. And yeah. Then, then we wised up and said, okay, smoking's bad, uh, so it'll be flipped again. So <laughs> now, <laughs> now we're going to look back at UK and be like, okay, so you guys said vapor was good. We were, we were wrong. We tend to have these very like puritanical ideal uh, ideals here when it comes to drugs and stuff too. And like, uh, <clears throat> you know, there's a lot of doctors that operate on like the precautionary principle, which is, you know, don't quote me, but it's basically like, well, we don't know for sure yet because we haven't seen long-term stuff yet. And so it's better off just not to do it. Meanwhile, you got freaking half a million smoke or uh, yeah, half a million smokers die in a year in the country, and you're just going to keep letting them die because you're just not sure yet, you know. Yeah, and how, much, then, how much money in the pharmaceutical? It's it's it makes more sense. Yeah, and there's a lot the of money big in. companies for people to continue to smoke and continue to get ill, so they continue to go to the hospital to get medication. Now, when you when you rule out that rule in the vaping, you know, I I know. Uh, we can't make legal claims, but I could speak uh, f on first person that I I'm going to the doctor a lot less not smoking cigarettes than uh, when I was smoking cigarettes. So uh, if, if that's not a lesson for people, then I, I don't know what is. Oh, same here. And, you know, I, I don't think that's the problem, though, is there is too cozy of a relationship between like our medical uh community and big pharma, but I don't think most doctors that are saying don't vape, it's bad. You know, I don't think that they're like, oh, I know deep down vaping's good, but I'm just going to lie be to help pharma. I think that they're in denial and uh, they get fed a lot of misinformation from studies that are funded by pharma and, and other places sure. that have that. That have a vested interest in, uh, in killing vaping. And so you know, I, I don't think like your average Joe Schmo doctor that's saying don't vape, it's horrible for you. It thinks or, you know, knows that they're lying, but they're just. They, I mean, they, my doctor, I can tell you specifically, my doctor tells me to vape over smoke cigarettes. Like that's what my doctor tells yeah, me. Some, and some are really good that way, but like, some aren't. And, you know, like Vanessa works in the, in the uh, she's a nurse and she works around doctors every day. And some of them are stuck in their ways. And they, even even when science comes out where like, Hey, there's a better way to do this. There's a better way to treat people with uh, um, that are having alcohol withdrawals. There's this. There's this way. There's that way. Check out this new research. A lot of them don't want, don't look at it. They're just stuck in their ways. No, we do it this way. And this is what I was trained in medical school. And so we're just gonna we're just gonna keep doing that. And that slows down, you know, progress as well. Sure, I agree. I agree. And she gets really frustrated because she's the type that'll read a lot of new, you know, medical studies, new, new science coming out, new what is she ways. An RN? To treat. She an RN? Yeah, she's an RN. Okay. That's good money. 
And does she is I she mean, does she decent. tell her patients that smoke cigarettes to recommend vaping, or she she doesn't? No, she does. Oh, she does. Well, you know, obviously, like she knows in the hospital who's more anti vape and who's more pro vape. So if there's an anti vaping doctor around, she might not say it right in front of him. But you know, if somebody's got emphysema and they keep going back to cigarettes and it's clear like they are are unable to quit cold turkey or whatever you know copd or something um she'll say hey you know i quit smoking with vaping try that out yep um and and uh you know she'll talk about some of the science with them and whatever but you know again with patients it's like they get such mixed messages no one knows what to believe yep and the media is never Media has never said. I, I can't remember any time the media, like big media, has ever said anything positive about vaping. I, I, yeah. I literally can't remember one time, like ever. Like ever. what helped? What how, What's really, really helped the U? And I don't mean to speak for people in the UK because I don't live there, but from an outsider's viewpoint, one of the biggest things that seemed to really help the you know, grow vaping was when the country started promoting it. Like when the government themselves said, Hey, if you, you know, smoke, uh, vaping is 95% safer than smoking. If you can't uh, quit smoking cold Turkey, try vaping. They have billboards by public health England and Royal, you know, Royal college of physicians that say that. Now, if we all of a sudden had that in this country, you'd see millions of smokers, trying to make the switch but but we don't and so that's what's really screwed us and we but we can't though we can't put those billboards up no we can't but the government can is my point and in over in the uk the government has done that because they feel like there's enough that's science there medical that's because their medical is funded uh by them versus yeah there's less special interest there right you know a lot of people like to shit on you know uh socialized medicine or universal health care but what it has done over there is that it's made it's made it a little more pure because all they care about is keeping people healthy because the healthier they are the lower the government's cost is yep. for health care yep so you know th- they want to basically just lower have less people coming in with chronic diseases and, and yeah. stuff that co- costs you know Stuff like uh, chemotherapy for cancer patients, that costs shit loads of money. So if vaping is going to lower those costs, then they're going to push it. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. It's true. It is. Like, well, here we have so many special interests and like there's so, there's just big business that, that controls a lot of the, uh, of the, of healthcare here. And so at the end of the day, it's more about profits than, than people. Yep. Well, I want to thank you, Matt, for coming on, brother. It was it was a, a good chat, and and um, yeah. I, I, Thanks for having me on. People absolutely. are probably upset that we didn't keep the drama going for longer. No, it's fine. And, uh, I'll, I'll figure out something else to do drama on. I'll do a review on somebody else's product and say name slap again. So that that might <laughs> <laughs> that might help out my numbers a little bit more. But uh, um. <laughs> Yeah, I, I was upset. I apologize for some of the things I said. Oh, you apologize. I think it's no. water under the bridge. That's it. it so, is. but I mean, that was really one more shout out to Scott Zegans because that's yes. that was so, that shook me hard yesterday. Yeah, it was a it's a big deal. And for again, for anybody that doesn't know, uh, an individual that I like to say was pretty big. I know, I know he had his own channel. Um, a lot of people would know him that have been to any of the expos. He would wear the little skirt uh little yeah. whatever whatever that was uh very good sense of humor it's just super sad man that we lost somebody great dude he was the uh he was a good um guy. he did a, he ran a lot of i think the marketing for paradigm Di- distro yep. uh he did the sales for signature tips in the u.s and he was always anyone in the industry knows him because he was always at every vape expo super happy guy always said yo 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 uh and, you know, like I felt it really shook me yesterday and I felt fucking horrible because uh, the last time he messaged me, which was in October, I didn't message him back. And I just, oh. I missed it. Like, and uh, you know how that happens. I like, I'm, oh. I love the guy, but I missed it. And then I'm just like, fuck man. Like if I would have known that would have been the last time, you know, I had to, uh, 
to talk to the guy like uh Yep. But I feel horrible for his family, and and it's just a sad, sad situation. Very sad. Very young, too. Do you know how old he was? 40? 41? 40? I think so. I think he's around – I'm 39. I think he was probably around my age, probably yeah. 40. 40. I think it was 40 or 41. Yeah, absolutely terrible. Um, but, again, thank you all for watching. Uh, we cleared it up. Uh, you could always go back and watch it, watch my lovely drama, and then Matt back himself up. Uh, other than that, thank you all for showing up. And thank you again, Matt, for coming by, brother. Thanks for having me on. All right. Have a good one, man. All right. Take it easy. All right. All right, guys. Um, yeah. So uh, let me see here. Show. Where are we at? Add guests. Show interview window. Yeah. Um, right. So that's, you know, it, it's kind of the end of that. I wanted to go through all the comments, but. You know, Matt came in quick and nipped that in the bud. Uh, yeah, I don't really have much else to say. Thank you all for showing up, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the show. Stay beautiful, and I will see you on the flip.